I am Dr. Pavanindra Lal. I am the uh, Director Professor of Surgery and the Head of the Clinical Skills Center here at Maulana Azad Medical College. So what are the skills that are taught in a skill lab? Well, we type, we in this particular lab, we tell, we teach surgical skills and medical skills. In the surgical skills, we have got basic surgical skills which are meant for a um, normal MBBS or a BDS doctor. The advanced surgical skills are taught to people who are surgeons who are becoming general surgeons, gynecologists, ENT surgeons, pediatric surgeons, plastic surgeons, gastrointestinal surgeons, neurosurgeons, like that the advanced surgical skills are tailored towards the requirement of that particular field. And then there are highly advanced courses which we do. We have got what is known as the Human Cadaver Laparoscopic Training Center which is the first of its kind in any government college. Uh, where we, which is located in the anatomy department of this college, where we do laparoscopic skills on a on a human cadaver, and we are able to do up to 10 to 12 procedures in one body, uh, and give the actual feel to the uh, participants. So this is about the surgical skills. Now in medical skills, we can teach them about cardiopulmonary resuscitation. We can teach them about uh, resuscitation from various kinds of cardiac conditions. For example, there is an arrhythmia, there is a cardiac block, there is a uh, bradycardia, sh sh um, uh, there is a, um, a choking because of aspiration, you need ventilation, you need to put an endotracheal tube, we want to put in a laryngeal mask, we want to put a airway which could be a tracheostomy or a cricothyroidotomy, various kinds of airway techniques, these are all taught by the physicians on the medical side of the training. And then there are soft skills, that are uh, there are skills which are like the procedure skills, for example, introduction of a chest tube, introduction of a uh, urinary catheter in a male or a female, uh, introduction of a long line, introduction of uh, um, um, uh, a catheter for uh, measurement of uh, central venous pressure, uh, intro introduction of uh, lumbar puncture, all these procedures are also taught on various mannequins. So there is a huge list and array of procedures that a skills lab can train a student. Now question asked is which specialities of medicine can make use of a skill lab? I have already told you there is a whole plethora of the whole gamut from surgical skills, general surgery, gynae surgery, pediatric surgery, entire surgical domain and we have got the micro surgical skills where ophthalmology and ENT can be taught in, in the medical field, general medicine and all the cardiology and pulmonary medicine departments. So there is literally no clinical department which remains untouched from the uh, uses from a skills lab.